So now we're going to do victuals in long hair. As you can see, I've got just longer than shoulder length hair here. So first of all, what we need to do is section off your hair. And I'm going to use the end of a rat tail comb to do so. Sectioning off using the end of uh, the comb to draw across your scalp creates that really clean line. So starting, I'm going to brush back my party. I'm just going to draw a line straight back to the crown of my head. You can see the nice straight line. I'm doing my picture rolls on a slight parting. So starting at the crown of my head with my, tooth, um, with my rat tail comb, I'm just going to draw a line to the back of my ear. And then just, um, you can see the line, a uh, neat line created at the back of the hair there. And I'm just going to section off my hair at the back just using one of these sectioning clips. So this section of hair here now, um, like I say in my short hair victuals tutorial, if you're quite used to rolling victuals, you can do this from straight. But as this is a beginner's guide, I'm going to show you how to curl it. If you feel like um, you're a little bit past that, you can whiz through this section. So. Make sure that you um, put on some heat protecting spray uh, just to protect your hair because we're going to use some really hot straighteners. So working on this section here, what we want to do is put some curls in there in the direction of the roll. We're going to take our top section here. Again, you can use curling tongs if you prefer. I find straighteners are a lot quicker and you don't have to leave the curling tongs in your hair waiting for the hair to heat all the way through, but works absolutely fine. Heated rollers as well, it's just again you have to leave them in for a lot longer. But it'll all work, just the same technique. So I've added some hairspray to the hair, straight all the way down. I'm just going to make sure that's worked all the way down with my fingers. And taking my straighteners right at the base, I'm just going to run the straighteners down the hair. And then when I get to the end, I want to really quickly twist it and slide it off. Don't worry. You want to do that quickly because straighteners are really hard. It's going to damage your hair if you leave that any section inside the straighteners for long. Now it fell down, so all I'm going to do is loop it. Doesn't matter how you do it. You just want to create a roll shape. So just twist it around your fingers and pincering down to the root. I need a section of tape just to hold that in place. Don't worry too much, it's not neat at the moment, it's just to create some direction, some curl in your hair so when you come to roll it, it's going to go a lot easier for you. Okay, next section, using the end of my rat tail comb just to take that up, so we're going in rows back from the forehead. Lots of spray. Foam all the way down, make sure the spray is evenly in. Taking our straightener from coming in at a back angle towards my face. And here that's sizzling, don't worry too much. And um, that's just the product sizzling and um, evaporating. So I'm twisting the straighteners towards my face. When I get to the end, I'm going to start rolling that quite quickly. Because again, I don't want to leave the straighteners uh, gripping the end of my hair and it'll damage it. I slid the straighteners out. And however which way, you just need to pincer that roll close to your head. And use a sectioning clip. You can see this is starting to come out, it's looking a little bit of a mess. Don't worry, it's just to curl your hair. Last section, lots of spray. I'm going to show you that motion again. Coming in from the back. Straighteners. Curl them around towards my face. At the end, I'm going to twist, 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 twist. Use my fingers to slide the hair out quite quickly. I don't want to damage the ends. And again, grab a clip, put that in the hair. I'm going to let that cool. So, the hair is nice and cool now. I can feel in there. So I'm going to take my sectioning clip out. You can see quite a nice loose barrel curl there. So, what we're going to do is comb the hair upwards. And when rolling victuals in longer hair, you need to make sure the hair is at quite a right angle up there. So you're really going diagonally and upwards, and you can see in my face there that I'm using quite a lot of tension. You want to comb, make sure you've combed across the top there. So that's nice and smooth, because that's what you're going to see. 
and we're going to really spray on with the hair. And again at this point if you want to add a little bit of your um, dry shampoo just around the base there, rub it in, if it's not quite the right colour you want to make sure that you comb that out a little bit so it doesn't look all dusty. So your tension's up. Now there's a few different ways. Now you've got that natural curl in there. See how it's already sitting in a roll shape even if the roll's quite large. So, um, first of all I'm going to show you one technique. See that hanging down? There's a natural curl there that you recreated. I'm just going to lift that curl up a little bit. We've got one at the end there. Starting at the top, I'm just going to keep rolling it down. Keeping that tension upwards, keep rolling down, and then you go, you've got your victory roll. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The way I tend to do it, which tends to make the victory roll sit slightly differently, so again, it depends on what you find the easiest, but also what um, looks best in a different angle that you like once it's rolled down. So I'm going to anchor the hair quite near, a couple of inches away from my scalp. I'm sort of creating a bit of a U shape in the hair there. Taking my other hand, I'm going to sweep the hair into a roll at the base, okay? Normally then tuck the rest of the hair into that roll. The longer your hair, the more difficult this technique. Equally, the longer your hair, a little bit more difficult with the other technique as well because you've got to start quite far away and sometimes your arms won't even stretch. So you can kind of combine the two techniques if you want. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. So again, you can see the victual can sit a little bit flatter on the hair like that. So if you want to, um, if you've got really, really long hair, so you've got a lot more tumbling down here, you might want to do kind of halfway techniques. So you want to half, start halfway along the hair. So the rest of the length of the hair is on the other side of the hand. And a loop and tuck as much hair as you need to in halfway along there and then keep rolling. Okay, so once we've got the vitriol at the base, just making sure that all the hair is tucked in. And I quite like to be able to see that nest quite smooth in there. So, so I'm using the technique of cupping my, the roll of the hair there, it just helps to uh, grip and keep it in place. And I'm going to fasten it with a curvy grip. So I'm just placing my thumb inside that just to open the curvy grip up. And I'm going to slide the curvy grip into the base of the roll there, straight across my scalp, really quite tight base of the roll. And the second curvy grip, what you want to make sure you do is cross them over like this. So you meet at the middle point where both of the grips have got that kind of crimping in the centre and then they grip against each other and it's really going to help you roll stay in place, especially if you've got really silky soft hair. So that one's going, the first grip was going in that way. So the second one I'm going to grip just like we said in the opposite direction and there's your victory roll. So again, lots of spray. And when you're practicing, you might need a few more grips to keep that in place. Um, once you practice, you should be able to do it with two or three. And that's your victory roll. So we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. I'm going to section the hair off first of all. So using the ends of the right tail curl, at the um, crown of the head, I'm going to draw a line straight down to the back of my ear, separating the hair there. This section at the back we don't need. I'd really recommend when you're practicing to push away or use a hair bob or grip, whatever you want, um, to get any hair that you're not working with out of the way. So we're going to section off um, in rows again, away from the forehead. Um, so we've got two rows like this. We use three sections on this side, so it's a smaller piece of hair, so I think we only need two. So just sectioning the first bit of hair there. Spraying all the way down, comb, and we'll take the straighteners. And can you see how I'm twisting the straighteners just very slightly towards my side like that? So I've basically twisted them 180 degrees. 
and that's so that we start to create a curl in the hair as we go all the way down. Once I've got to the end, I'm going to roll all the way down. I'm going to use my thumb just to slide them off. You've got good hair straighteners, they should have ceramic plates which are going to help that sliding. Um, they should, it, the hair should come straight off. And just loosen the grip on the straighteners if it doesn't at first. Just tuck the end in there. There's your grip in there because you want to leave it into the roll while it cools. Second section. Spray. Comb. Straighteners. We've got that angle first. And as we go, I'm twisting it 180 degrees. So this becomes the top. And twist, use my nail to pop the hair straight up. You can see how the ends have just blocked out there. Just tuck them in, it doesn't have to be neat. You're creating a curl in your hair. So it's easy to work with. And then, crocodile, duck, bill, clip, whatever people want to call them. Okay, so now the hair's cool. We're just going to pop those section of clips out, just let it fall down. And as you can see, you've got kind of a barrel curl. Um, it's quite nice, I feel, and uh, um, just coming through. So, exactly the same as we did on the other side. I'm going to comb through the hair to start off with. And we're going to go sort of 45 degree angle up there, um, up and out with a diagonal. And I'm going to spray the hair. Loads. If you want to at this point you find it easier, you can pop a little bit of dry shampoo. You can see how I'm aiming it at this section here, which is where I want to create a little bit of grip in the hair because that's where the clips are going to go in. And again, just comb it through, make sure it doesn't look powdery. It's the right, right colour for your hair. So, a couple of techniques. First of all, we're going to start with the technique where we're creating a loop at the top of the hair. So we create a loop. Keep that tension, and we go off camera there. Keep that tension and roll the loop. I'm going pincing from one thing, pincer from one hand to the next. And curl. Next pincer, tucking the ends in, all the way down to the base there, and there's your roll. My technique that I always use, I'm a bit more spray on there, we create a U shape or a um, kind of backwards bend on itself like that. Anchoring the hair quite firmly again, can you see where I'm pulling the hair up quite a lot of tension there, you can see my eye on the clip go up. <laughs> so, new shape, taking the other hand there, create a loop, and tuck the hair in. And then, you only have to roll a little bit down to the base, and it kind of sits a little bit flatter when you do it that way. Okay, and roll it all the way down to the base there. Cup. Just opening up the uh, curly grip there. Slide down the base for roll. And all I'm doing really is stretching the roll out, positioning it, putting some hairspray in. Make sure all the ends are in. And I'm going to pop my second grip in the opposite direction so that I can feel it's gripping in the centre there. This pesky bit of hair here. We're not going to have that on most of my hair because I need some brain fringe out. And there is your victory rolls. I'm just going to let this section of hair down. You can leave it down straight if you want to, or you can curl it with your straight as you curl it or your heated rollers. So, thank you very much. That's our long shoulder length hair victory rolls tutorial.
to begin I'm going to do a section of hair from my parting to just behind my ear and I'm going to clip the rest of my hair out of the way so it's easier for me to do my victory roll and back clip. Now I'm just going to work through this section of hair in about one inch uh, rows of back combing. I'm using my ball bristle back combing brush and I'm also spraying each section with the Batiste XXL Volume Dry Shampoo which just gives it a lot more texture and it really holds that back combing in. So as you can see I like to back comb in rows and then I like to do a little bit of back combing to bring all of those rows together. It just means you get a much fuller back comb and it just makes everything stick together a lot better. The key to really soft smooth victory rolls is to really spend your time brushing through that whole outer section of the hair just to make sure you take care of all the flyaways. For this first victory roll, what I'm actually going to do is bring that hair around my fingers and just bring it from behind and tuck it in and then roll towards my head. So as you can see again, I'm bringing that hair from the front around the back of my two fingers holding the actual curl shape and then just tucking that in as I bring the roll to my head. Now I'm just going to mould that shape a little bit and make sure I like the roundness of this victory roll and where it's sitting and I'm gonna just clip it in place with a long pin curl clip just whilst we move on to the other victory roll so that then if I have to move it or reshape it then it doesn't mean I have to take the clip out and start again I can just properly pin it in place with a bobby pin once I'm happy with the overall shape. So I've sectioned off this other part of my hair exactly the same, so I've drawn a line from my parting to just behind my ear and I'm going to work through that back combing again, layering up that hairspray and the Batiste XXL Volume Spray to get a really solid back comb. Again, once you've done all of the back combing, if you just really spend your time brushing through that whole section of hair all the way around the section that we've back combed, so then you can take care of all those flyaways. And I like to layer up that hairspray as well, just to really get control over this whole section of hair before we start to roll. For this side, I'm actually going to wrap my hair around my two fingers, just tucking in that end, and then I'm going to take the hair off and just roll down into my head keeping a hold of it whilst I work on the shape and size of it with my fingers. I'm just going to show you that once more close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing with my hands for this victory roll. Once you're happy with the size and placement of your victory rolls you can then go in with hair grips. I like to clip them where the roll first curves into the scalp because it anchors that victory roll in really well. And if you actually bring the clip slightly under the first layer of hair, then it hides the clip as well. So once you're happy and everything's pinned in, I like to spend a little bit more time with plenty of hairspray and just smoothing down all of those flyaways with the tips of my fingers. It just helps keep everything under control. So to do the Page Boy uh, curl set, I'm going to start off by using and Emma Rose and today I'm going to talk you through how to do this simple um, reverse victory roll really just like the front section of your hair. Okay so first of all we're just going to section the front bit of our hair. My parting starts just above my um, peak of my eyebrows we're going to take the same kind of portion on this side. So we're just going to run our rectal comb up, draw the line to the crown the back of the head. We're just gonna push these sections off to get it a bit neat. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray some hairspray just to make sure it's 
fly away is kind of kept in check before we start to roll. And what we're going to do, we're going to actually roll, um, we're going to actually back home this front section of hair that's kind of like almost like you split it in a triangle. So we're going to go from about here all the way to the back because this bit will be inside the roll, but this bit will still be able to be seen, so you want that bit nice and smooth. So, I'm just going to do gentle back comb, super gentle, just to get a bit of volume in there. It's better for the clip to grip. And we're just going to brush that forward. So we're kind of going to go on an angle really. So, I'm going to hold my hair quite up straight on an angle. And then with my other fingers, to start that loop shape. Okay, can you see where I've made that? I'm going to switch hands, grab around the back of your thumb, and tuck those little ends in. And then we're going to switch hands again and start rolling down, making sure we're controlling the ends as we roll. And then I'm going to move my hands down to base of the roll. I'm just going to take it over with this hand. I'm just going to control any flyaways. I'm just going to hold it there whilst we get a clip. I'm going to use a uh, gold clip to see you can actually really see where I'm putting it. Normally I try to hide the clip to lose like pink ones. But basically we're just going to grab right where the roll first meets your scalp. That's where we need to pin. I'm just going to pin it all the way back, kind of in the same direction as your actual roll is sitting. And you can see that's holding nicely in place. So to make sure we've got a nice smooth roll, a bit of hairspray, just brush over using your fingers, and then aim it from inside the roll. And you can do a little bit of teasing and prodding if you want to get it a little bit larger. What I do, if I want a bigger roll, I just kind of make a pincer and just kind of ease it out a little bit. Just gently, so you're not really disrupting the roll, but it just kind of teases the hair just a little bit. and see if it's a bit bigger. A hairspray. And there you have a nice uh, reverse victory roll.